Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. This is part six of the B Attitude series. Praise the Lord. We shall see God if we have a pure heart. Does that mean that by some form of works, some form of effort, we get clean? Does that even mean that by accepting Christ, we somehow now have washed ourselves on our own in the forgiveness and blood of Jesus Christ? No, there is nothing that we can do to be saved. Only Jesus, Christ only, can save us. And only Jesus can make us pure. The definition of this Greek word pure is that which is pruned like a branch that all the bad dead things, all the dead branches that are coming off that live branch are cut off pruned and now that branch is alive and pure with no deadness on it so the pure in heart are those who have been cleansed by corrected by loved by used by jesus used by god cleansed by god made righteous by god it is all to the glory of god you cannot have a pure heart you cannot be pruned without the pruner coming to clip away the dead branches. And as a branch, we are attached to the vine. We can do nothing, Jesus says, without him. And we as branches must abide in him. We must be connected to him so that he can live through us. Now this purity is in our hearts. We have a pruned heart. We have been made pure in our heart. How is that? How does it work itself out? Well, our heart in in uh, the Eastern way of thinking, right? The Jewish way of thinking, the heart isn't that thing that 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 muscle in your body that just, you know, pumps all the blood through your through your veins. That's yes, it's the physical heart, but this heart we're talking about is your very soul and your very mind. That is what has to be pure. That is what God wants us to have the attitude of. So if we want to have the be attitude of a pure heart, then we have to constantly call on the pruner, call on the gardener to come and clip away the bad stuff. We cannot get rid of the bad stuff on our own. Some people say, yes, I've quit this or I've quit that. Well, you haven't quit without the power of the Lord. Well, what if somebody who's saved just decide not saved, excuse me, not saved just decides to quit drugs and 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 quit uh you know smoking. They made a decision. They made have made the decision, but they could not quit. They could not do anything without the assistance of God. Because Jesus says you can't do anything without me. It doesn't matter who you are. God allows you to do things. God prompts you to do things. God is the one who gave you the breath of life so that you can live. God created you so there's nothing you can do outside of him. Saved or unsaved. Hallelujah. So the lesson here is that our heart is pruned by the pruner. Our mind is pruned by the pruner. And the only way we can be pure in heart is if we are constantly being pruned constantly constantly being worked on by our creator our lord jesus christ thank you jesus blessed are those who are pure in heart for they shall see god god bless you until next time may the lord richly bless you